This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the hydrogen emission spectrum. On the left, we see the effect of passing a high voltage through a hydrogen discharge tube. When a high voltage is passed through the tube, we can see that the hydrogen emits light with a bright pink color. If we then view this pink light through a spectroscope, we can see that it's actually made up of other colors or wavelengths of light. This emission spectrum is more commonly shown as seen here. So in this video, I'll explain how this emission spectrum is produced. To begin, we need to look at the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum shows all the wavelengths or frequencies of radiation. These range from low energy radio waves to high energy gamma rays. In this video, we'll mainly focus on the visible region. The visible region comprises of light with wavelengths of approximately between 400 and 700 nanometers, with red light having the longest wavelength and violet light having the shortest. In the emission spectrum that we saw in the previous slide, the wavelengths of light emitted fall within this region. So next, we'll look at how these specific wavelengths of light are emitted. So we'll start with a review of the Bohr model of the atom. According to this model, the protons and neutrons are located in the nucleus of the atom and the electrons are located in energy levels or shells around the nucleus. The first point to note is that electrons can transition between energy levels by either absorbing or emitting photons of energy. When electrons absorb photons of energy, they transition to higher energy levels. And when electrons transition to lower energy levels, they emit photons of energy. So next we look at the relationship between these electron transitions and the wavelengths of light that are emitted. Next we look at the Rydberg equation, which we can see here. So in this example, we'll calculate the wavelength of light emitted when an electron transitions from n equals 3 to n equals 2. So here we have the wavelength of light emitted, which is 6.56 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. This is equal to 656 nanometers. Visible light with a wavelength of 656 nanometers corresponds to red light. So from this, we can deduce that the red line was produced by the electron transition from n equals 3 to n equals 2. By doing so, the electron emitted a photon of energy that corresponds to red light. So next we look at the electron transitions responsible for the remaining wavelengths. So here we can see the four spectral lines together with their wavelengths. Here we look at how to calculate the energy of the photon emitted for each electron transition. To do so, we can use this equation, which is energy is equal to Planck's constant multiplied by the speed of light divided by the wavelength. And this gives us a value of 3.03 .03 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And this is the energy of the photon emitted for the electron transition from n equals 3 to n equals 2. In this table, we can see the wavelength of light and energy emitted for each electron transition in the visible region. From the table, we can see that the electron transition from n equals 6 to n equals 2 emits the greatest amount of energy. And the electron transition from n equals 3 to n equals 2 emits the least amount of energy. We'll end the video by looking at the complete emission spectrum for the hydrogen atom. This includes electron transitions to n equals 1, n equals 2, and n equals 3. So starting with electron transitions from higher energy levels to n equals 1, which emit UV radiation. These electron transitions emit the greatest amount of energy. Next, we have electron transitions to n equals 2, which emit visible light. And finally, we have electron transitions to n equals 3, which emit infrared radiation. These transitions are the lowest energy of the three. So to summarize, electron transitions to n equals 1 emit photons of energy that correspond to UV radiation. Electron transitions to n equals 2 emit photons of energy that correspond to visible light. And electron transitions to n equals 3 emit photons of energy that correspond to infrared radiation.